Alright, let's welcome back to Mass Effect. Three. Twa. Uh. And, yeah, we're going to Eden Prime. So, this is where it all started. This is where we fucking met Ashley. And wanted to off ourselves. Why does the R have to come along? What if I don't want her? Well, whatever. Okay, so, let's see. Can I... Can I give them different weapons? This is a very good question of mine. Because I actually have not really spent a lot of time with that. Yeah, we'll give her a hurricane and then... Uh, I don't give a fuck about that, really. Like, it just occurred to me, I've been giving them default weapons this entire time. So, they probably could use better weapons. Alright, so, sniper rifles, no mantis for you. Uh, let's give him, like, maybe this gun? I mean, the smart thing to do would actually be to give him the, uh, the Valiant, because I actually upgraded that. Like, me and, me and him can be, like, sniper brothers. Okay, they don't need spare shot, I think. But, I think he'll benefit from, from both of these. Alright, as for this... What, what? I don't remember, there was a meme weapon I was supposed to do with this. Um, is it a Typhoon? It might be the Typhoon. Allows them to pierce accuracy. All right, we'll we'll do the, that one, and rounds for magazine. Sure, that might be the meme. That might be the meme right here. All right. All right. That that's not, that looks pretty good. Uh, due due to prior reconstructive surgery, the implants are still healing. Aggressive behavior and stress will do whatever. Okay, and we already know that. But we want we want to have that face. It's a face you could love. Only a mother can love, actually. But yeah, uh, warp ammo, pure biotic. What's what? What do I still need to get for her? Weapon damage or power and force? Recharge speed of all squad might biotic powers. While well, we're not gonna ever use that. Or singularity. Oh, those are pretty. Bo those are both both pretty good. We're gonna do power and duration, actually, and, and make her singularity have like a really short cooldown. That sounds pretty good. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. We got him in the end. That we did. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime. But our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is... It's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Nice. I like the amount of ammo I get for the sniper, man. That's actually my favorite part about this sniper. It's the fact I have like literally unlimited ammo for it. Why, why, what's this? Oh, dude, it's a it's a space paddle, you know. When like Garrus is being naughty, fucking paddles ass. Uh, we've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. 
pay, uh, increase the food rations as payment for work. All right. Uh. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. I can already see it uh, over there. Alright, how do we bring it up? Oh, uh, of course. The computer. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Like the Collectors. Or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. Oh, dude. Mass Effect 1 music. Out, and there goes my helmet. Nemesis? Did I, did I just kill something new? Uh, where is it? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to see it? Alright, well, whatever. We just killed something new, I guess. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a sniper. All right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. Good thing I have like my own snipers. I like how I, I like how I would snipe their snipers before I even knew what they were they were even snipers. Fuck yeah. Feels good, man. All right, troop uh, local resistance is heavy. The locals knew we were under stealth and could do some serious more damage. Intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Uh, find uh, iPod data, of course. Of course, Apple exists in this in this timeline. Uh, I, I don't want to deal with that. Uh. I kind of ran into him, so he, he found out I was there. Uh, is that Garrus? What? Garrus, what are you doing here? I was cloaked. Uh, better use that rifle. Alright, let's see how he does with that rifle. Oh, fuck. Fuck. 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that one. I was, I thought that was Garrus. <laughs> I like shit Garrus. <laughs> Where'd they go? I was just being shot at over here. Garrus! <laughs> Why is Garrus so spooky? There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Wait, is Garrus just killing everything? <laughs> Look, I think someone was saying he was going to, but... I haven't been paying attention to Garrus. All I know is he's just everywhere and fucking scaring the shit out of me. Mass Effect 3, The Return of Garrus. Tortured Roar. Oh god. Uh, shit, I want to be a part of this party. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Alright. Did I see another door? I guess we'll find the iPod data first because I think that looks like a a really like huge thing forward. So we're just gonna jog our memory. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess this is like nothing. Understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Alright, <laughs> let's go find the remaining iPod data. Can we jump in there now? Hoping we could. Fuck. Why do they do that? Why do they make it so hard for me to headshot them? When I stun them. Fuck. You know, that hacking actually became very useful. Like, look, look at their heads. How am I supposed to headshot them when they do that? Who the fuck jitters like that, like, just standing up, you know? Fuck. It annoys me. Oh, he's dead. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. You know, at least they're actually like moving their mouths to actually talk to me. And you may think this is like, like not like a impressive thing, but like they've not done that in 
Bioware games before sometimes, I think. Is it Bioware or is it maybe something else? I don't know, some developer I remember was very lazy about it. Although you probably don't need the uh, the ammunition upgrade for this gun, but it's what we have anyways. Okay, see you later, Liara. Square. To open the pod. I mean, that was kind of more of a story. Oh, hey, service is here. Backup forces are here. Why do they take the jetpacks? It's like not even that big of a deal. I would, I would survive that. <laughs> so let's see. I want to see this guy's. Uh, I want to see Garrus's uh, shooting. Go. Oh yeah, no shit. Oh shit. Sorry, right, I didn't mean to do that. I also meant to use that about it. Oh, it's Karras! <laughs> Where did he go? How did he get out there? Oh, he went through here. Holy shit, he is, really is a god. The fuck? Who, who am I to fucking argue with Garrus? Oh my god, he's everywhere. Someone said I did something wrong with my upgrades. I wonder what they thought I did. No, I still have 50% damage bonus. And 40%. I mean, I don't think he needs sniper rifle damage if he's gonna be using that the entire time. Was it this one I fucked up? No. I have a capacity now. Maybe this is the one I should have gotten. But holy shit, is he effective? Well, we can't not bring Garrus along for things now. Okay, so we're supposed to go over there to the next iPod. Alright, Garrus, kill that thing. Understood. On the double. I, I just, I kind of just want to see him shoot it. Understood. Acknowledge. I, tr I trust in Garrus. Go. Okay, Lyra, you draw the fire. Got it. Affirmative. Understood. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, okay, forget that. We're gonna give him that gun. What a baller. Okay, well. At least nobody will find my corpse. Cerberus can't find it again and bring me back. Yes. Excellent. Then uh, he's just got it. Backup forces are here. Oh. Good job, Lyra. Dude, she's got the hurricane, and then the other guy has the other thing. Oops. I, I always throw that, though. Where's Garrus? We, we, need our, we need our heavy range artillery or whatever. Why is Garrus, like, going out there? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> he got that shit. This is going to be a very enjoyable game, let me tell you that. I'm just going to play an RTS. You got it. Where's the R? I, bet, I guess the better question is who cares? my aimer because I switched places, but that's okay. Alright, we need to send the artillery up first. We're not making the same mistake we made last time. Get up there, Garrus. We're gonna just let him do everything here. Garrus will clear it. Oh, fucking shit. Dude doesn't even care about the shields either. Uh. And, uh, dude, we got that gun too. Dude, like, how is this such a, like, a contrast to the previous games where, like, my eyes were shit and I had to carry them. Understood. Now they're carrying me, motherfucker. I am fucking trash. They'll do everything, it's fine. Alright, let's go, uh, uh, okay, I guess we can't look at plants. Uh, that was where we went last time. Okay, Garrus. Holy shit, he's asserting dominance. What can I do? What can I even They've do? They retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. I thought, that was, I thought this was supposed to do things. I guess we just kind of walk around the other way, don't we? I mean, logically, that's what I would do. Or unless there is a... Uh, uh, I guess we're not allowed to do that, are we? Uh, I guess not. Where the fuck do I go, angry howls? Anything up here? Nah. Maybe over this way. They retracted the bridge, literally impossible to do anything about it. Oh, I am. Apparently, I am just a lot down here. I'm like, I was just thinking to myself, like, it can't just simply be that simple, can it? Nope, it really can. I'm on it. Garrus, we need you. Like, literally, this is the only time I'll ever say it. Actually, Garrus is pretty baller in every game. 
Can I just jump off? No, I'm just gonna fucking go down like this. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Understood. I'm on it. <laughs> I just love watching Garrus go to work, man. Here they come. Dude, this is like like actual like bromance between me, me and Garrus, man. You don't even know. I got the I got the fucking I got the fucking sniper. Garrus just pins them all down. Dude, it's gonna be actually fun having a teammate like just cover my ass. And then she has that one. Actually, maybe Garrett should be up there too. I, I, I could be the one that's over here. Oh, that, that was awkward. Oh. Like, I have to say, compared to Mass Effect 1, compared to Mass Effect 2, Excavator or uh, whatever the fuck he's using beside, teammates are wildly more useful in this one. They actually got the AI, like, somewhat correct. I, I, I say it's somewhat only because uh, we're, we're still destroying the game, so... Not Looks it. like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there! I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. The building next door. Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Oh. Is he gonna take out the heavy mech on his own? He fucking did. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, they, their, their weapons are so baller. Dude, that's, that's level 1 as well. He has not upgraded that thing at all. Where'd the guy go? Are you still there? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, whatever. There. You can open the life pod now. I need ammo. Take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. 
preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human, Terrian. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> <laughs> 